Hey everybody, how's it going? Bjark the Bear here, and today we are playing Kenshi. And we are back with the Gears and Stuff Trading Company. And as it stands, we are pretty close to an old Empire supply outpost. Cool. <laughs> Uh, so I thought it was this thing right here, but apparently no. It is this guy down here. So first things first, we got to figure out how to get to it because I thought, again, we would just run down this way, but that's a fall. <laughs> we're, we're not going down that way. But uh, yeah, so far we've run into some interesting enemies out here. Uh, we have gurglers I, I think that's what they're called crab people and then uh, the crab raiders um, yeah these guys uh, that's a gurgler the fishmen that's what they're called so lots and lots and lots of those guys well, those are scavengers that's a pretty big group of them really So we're gonna we're gonna go in and we're gonna fight them, I guess. Yeah, because they want to fight. Okay, and I think a lot of them have crossbows. Typically, nope. Take it back immediately. There's a couple. I see four. So that's not bad. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, we will have Render run around and go straight to the crossbowmen. Oh, they hit hard though. Holy crap. You better stop! He must have gotten hit in the head. No, he got hit in the arm. Hmm. So I don't know what did that damage. Unless it was a really good crossbow. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> And it's gone. <laughs> oh, crappy crossbow. I am going to kill them off, though, because screw these guys. That one's not bad, but it's not great. Where, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Man, just Naruto ran right through my squad. He, he doesn't even have a plan. He doesn't know where he's going. Yeah, I'm only going to kill a couple of them. I'm not going to hang around long enough to deal with them. Bigger fish to fry. <laughs> okay, so I think this is my way down. Pretty neat looking area. It's weird to actually see like grass and stuff. Let's give him a quick check over here. I'm seeing a lot of red. And nothing major. There you go. Okay. Go back to the expedition team. So we're actually, eh, we're not really able to unlock it. It's giving me a 1%, but I'm getting a zero right there. Unless, nope, nobody can. So we'll just break it down. Oh, well, <laughs> joints is already in there. We'll take a look. Eh, that might be useful. I haven't lost a limb with one of these guys yet, so I don't know. But we'll see. Bunch of medical stuff. We'll take a couple. Switch over to shields. Oh, I forgot I had those. You know. 
Yeah, we'll hold on to him. Oh, the raid ended. Did anybody go down and get captured? That was weird that it ended instead of uh, was defeated. That's uh, that's a little troubling. All right, lots of garbage. More garbage. Ancient nutri uh, nutri rations. I didn't know that was a thing. I've never seen these. I mean, I'll take them. We, we don't need food, but... I have never seen those before. This place must have been the Lost Armory. I got a sneaking suspicion we're not going to find any AI cores here. Not gonna lie, kinda disappointed about that. Mono no save. Alright. Oh, wow. I mean, that's cool. Um. Take a couple spares. We could always use some more. Never know when you're gonna go down. Yeah, we've already been into that. Assault Raid was defeated. That's a new weapon. I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah, they're too far away. And I don't care that much. Oh, hi. You're hostile. And very... Very strong. Yep, he's going straight for render. Oh, and he's fast too. Holy crap. Oh boy. That is most certainly a Mitsu weapon. And a very strong opponent with it. Come on, you guys got him. So, hopefully... There we go, good lord. No way. If I take this, am I gonna kill him? Well, we're gonna definitely take the, uh... Frame axe. Do I have a pretty decent hacker user here? Uh, I must because I saw it fit to give you an edge type 2. It's not terrible. Well, sir. Nope, put that. Oh, you can't. Damn. I'm curious to see who that is. Well, you're coming with me. Pick up. And give him repairs. He's got really good uh, armor, 
I want to take that, but I don't want to kill him. He's from the Second Empire, so he's some, something to do with Catlon. Where are we? In the pits. So, if you go to um, Tin Fist and talk to him about uh, the Ashlands or whatever, uh, he mentions not to go to a specific place, and I wonder if this is where he was talking about. Because uh, the the lore uh, of Kenshi, Ten, uh, Ten Fist and Catlon were friends, but uh, Ten Fist went to go help anti-slavers, and uh, Catlon stayed and did his Catlon thing. So he, uh, wh whoever this guy is, is something to do with the Second Empire. And I wonder if uh, Tin Fist is actually, like, protecting this person. I wonder if this is the person that you're not supposed to go find. Which, I mean, we're, we're going to be against the anti-slavers anyways, but, so that really doesn't matter. Bunch of garbage. Okay, well technically we found our the last AI core that we need. I don't know if I'm okay with that. <laughs> but yeah, so we will hold on to this guy and hopefully make it back home with him. Um Yeah, we've got a we've got quite a hike, so we're uh, we're gonna get started on that. Uh, so for the most part, this place didn't have anything good. Uh, just to go through the loot, we had a couple robot repair kits. Um, I mean, lots of iron. If you need materials, this place is awesome. Uh, but we don't really need it. I mean, we could use the iron plates, I guess. Maybe. And I did notice that those uh, iron refineries, I don't think at least, uh, finished building over in uh, Central City. So I don't know. Maybe we do need iron. Be stuck. Be stuck. Here, you get out of there. Kill me. Eh, good enough. Oh, and I guess we did find that master work uh, leg, too. So if anybody ever gets something cleaved off, hopefully it's a... Uh, what is that, a left leg? Yeah. <laughs> hopefully they get a left leg cleaved off. Alright, let's go ahead and pull everybody out. And begin the long, long, tedious run home. But let's go and check on. Oh, crap, people. Let's go check on the headhunters. So, last we saw them, uh, they got stomped by the stone rats <laughs> now they're here uh swamp ninjas oh now they're here licking their wounds and rust so we're gonna give them a uh, chance at redemption and have them go after swamp ninjas I'm going to have to keep a close eye on the expedition team because I like that. <laughs> I don't know what size of enemies hang out here. And I'm uh, 
really, really afraid to lose out on this guy here. Not necessarily lose out on him, but I don't, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I want to find out more. <laughs> All right, we're going to find this out. Random skelly boy. The pits east. Question mark. The fuck does this have to do with Fortnite? You. You. Mother of God. <laughs> Alright, so... Taking a look at it, it looks like this guy's from a mod. So, he's, uh... Uh, do we have room to put that in there? So, he's nothing, nothing important, um, technically. But, we'll go ahead and pull that AI core. And he should be dead, yeah. Uh, if he was, uh, for lack of a better term, somebody important or something important, I would have probably kept him around, but he's he's just a mod. <laughs> so, nothing, uh, nothing important there. We'll go ahead and put him down. Which sucks. That, uh, it was a pretty cool little concept. Uh, could have been who Tin Fist was talking about if you uh, go and speak to him over in the anti-slaver village then he'll uh, he'll mention something about it but unfortunately not so anyway uh, back to back to what we're doing so we have our AI core with this we'll be able to get the last uh, the last upgrade for uh, edge type weapons and then we can get into the luxury weapons so I'm pretty excited um, the only the, again the only caveat with it is the max tier is better than uh, the vanilla me too weapons so we probably won't be putting those in the hands of everybody uh, I might do a couple of them for the uh, for the leaders of the groups, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and we discovered a tower. Where's this tower at? It's up that way. Hey, buddy, who are you? Is a escaped reaver slave, so a group of reavers must have gone down somewhere nearby. Skeleton bandits. So these guys are fun. <laughs> um, they are controlled by a, or well, not controlled, but they're led by a skeleton that says humans are evil and whatnot. And uh, yeah. Kind of weird how their armor looks strikingly similar, huh? <laughs> I, I actually chose this armor because of them. But anyway, um, yeah, they uh, attack humans on sight and stuff like that, even though they are human. But we are going to come to this here. We, we might as well. I actually like sending these guys out pretty far and then having them track back and at least uncover what we've run into um, if not actually like go in there so let's take a look and see what we're dealing with blood spiders yay <laughs> lots of blood spiders and ooh, big blood spiders Oh, those are all elders. We got some up top, and holy crap. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You guys want to play? You come play in my yard. Oh, hey, guys. 
I got a thing for you. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, everything's hostile. Okay. That might have been a bad idea. We'll focus on the blood spiders first, and then we'll go against those guys. I take it they didn't like that I led a bunch of blood spiders to them. What quality weapons do they have? Uh, it's all standard, and then they have crappy old refitted blades. Okay. There you go. Ah, that was fucking synchronized. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, their armor and stuff's pretty crap, so we won't be taking it or dealing with it. Let's get our repairs done. Ooh, shields. You took some hits, my dude. Alright, let's head back up here. Ugh, these disgusting land bats. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so there's gonna be more. Nope, 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 we're not getting into that fight. They're gonna come and fight us on our terms. Right, you douche, get back here. <laughs> Kill that thing off. This guy's stuck in the stairs, so that's Darwinism. No, stop it. You're making such bad choices. <laughs> there you go, shields. Good job. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep these guys all selected, otherwise they're gonna suicide run in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and kill a couple of them. We want, uh, we don't want them coming behind us while we move forward in there because with all the, with all the blood spiders in there, it'd probably be a bad thing if they, uh, if they flanked us like that. Ugh, yeah, they have super high KO points. And they're really hard to select, too. Yeah, I think all of these will probably get back up. Uh, maybe not. So, that's weird. <laughs> so at 50, they die. Or negative 50, they're dead. But they have a KO point of 70. Negative 70. So they would literally die before you knock them out. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so let's explore this place. This better have some good loot in it. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of those. Okay, we cleared it out too. I accept. I think that's just a bread basket. No, no, it's a large basket. And then... Ah, there's always a safe on the last floor. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Nope, and then run out. 
Lead them all the way to the bottom. We want you guys fighting with your best weapons. Uh, shields might be in trouble. No, uh, no. Luckily, they're all focused on the guys out here. Oh, lots of big red numbers, though. There we go. So, for the most part, if you do it carefully, it seems like... 10 units might be enough to really handle themselves. If you, uh, if I would have gone in there and let them attack with their secondary weapons, we would have lost everybody probably. You just gotta... I mean, what they really need is they need to train with their secondary weapons, but... That's hard to do. I would have to go through and remove everybody's weapons. Oh, what is going on down here? Oh, it's a combination of those guys waking up and the blood spiders waking up. Okay. Fair enough. Nothing. Got a safe. And a good safe. More books. Did we stop picking that? Why? Yeah, a lot of those blood spiders are waking back up. It's a little troubling, but hopefully they, uh, hopefully they die. <laughs> oh boy, this is painful. Alright, there we go. Oh, yay! I mean, I really shouldn't be upset, because... You never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> but yay! Okay, let's get out of here. Oh boy! Well, those guys woke back up. And slow it down. I have all the graphic stuff be hidden by a tree. <laughs> there we go. I think that big swing from render might have... Uh... Uh, they're dying. A couple of them are dead. Cool. Yep. Uh, we'll head up to at least Brink. Oh, no, we'll finish this off. Alright, well anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot happening. Uh, we will be just heading to... Uh, Central City from here. That's that's the only thing that's gonna happen. Uh, we'll probably stop in Brink Which it looks like we have a caravan there No, oh, sad Neil Forgot all about you apparently <laughs> Make sure his Garu aren't dying but yeah, if you liked the episode, feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the episode, leave a thumbs down. Um, if you're as disappointed as me about the lore of uh, that last question mark guy, then, you know, show some love and leave a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Pretty sad about that. It was a, uh, it was a cool concept that the developers should have put in, but a mod nonetheless. <laughs> But yeah, if you, uh, like I said, if you liked the episode, just drop a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.